हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू दिस सेशन ऑन इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक्स और ई एम एफ टी एंड टूडे इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द डाइवर्जेंस एंड द डाइवर्जेंस थ्योरम वॉट इज डाइवर्जेंस एंड हाउ इट इज यूज इन द वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ कॉर्डिनेट सिस्टम एंड एट द एंड वील बी टॉकिंग अबाउट अ न्यूमेरिकल बेस्ड अपॉन डाइवर्जेंस सो दैट यू विल बी गेटिंग मोर क्लियरिटी अबाउट दिस टॉपिक ओके सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वॉट इज डाइवर्जेंस आई होप यू हैव सीन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वेर आई वॉज टॉकिंग अबाउट द डेल ऑपरेटर एंड द ग्रेडियंट इफ यू हैव स्टिल नॉट वॉच इट आई रेकमेंड यू स्ट्रॉन्गली टू वॉच दैट बिकॉज आई विल बी यूजिंग द डेल ऑपरेटर हेयर सो वॉट इज डाइवर्जेंस divergence is the second use of del operator if you recall the previous video and according to the second use del can be having a dot product with any field so if is a is my field then i can have a dot product of a with del which is representing the divergence now for the dot product this a or this field has to be a vector quantity when i was talking about gradient the gradient was operating on a scalar quantity here a was scalar but here a has to be a vector quantity okay so for divergence a has to be a vector quantity then only i can compute the divergence i hope this thing is clear now i hope you remember what was the flux i have discussed about the flux in the previous video where i was talking about the integrals okay what was the flux the flux is given by the total number of field lines passing through a open surface so here this is my surface s and here if i have a small portion ds the number of field line passing through this ds will be given by a dot ds and now if i need to find out total field lines over the entire surface i will be integrating it over the s so now this is the field lines over the surface so now this field lines is called the flux now what is uh, my divergence why i was talking about flux again divergence is the net outward flux per unit volume around a given point okay so now here i'll be taking a very small infinitesimal volume okay so the volume is very small and if i am taking the flux per unit volume then it will be giving me the divergence so now if i denote it mathematically divergence is represented by del dot a so i know that so now it will be equal to okay so now my volume is tending to zero my volume is infinitesimal and volume is tending to zero this is the reason i put the limit and we'll be seeing its significance also so i put limit del v tends to zero and integration over as a dot ds it represents my flux net outward flux per unit volume De upon del of v so now here sorry this is this del i represented it wrong so now this del of v will be like this so it's the change in the volume and this is del operator so i hope you are clear about it you should not make the same mistake okay so now this is my del dot a so what is the significance of it it give it is giving me the net outward flux per unit volume okay so now if i have three points so let's suppose this is my point q this is my point q and this is also my point q now here if i have field lines like this here i have field lines like this okay and now in the third case i have field lines like this okay so now divergence gives me the 
net outward flux per unit volume so now if i take this case this is the first case now here you can see the flux is out in outward direction so now here del dot v will be positive and now here you can see lines are coming inside so here del dot v should be negative and here we don't have any change in the flux so here del dot v must be zero at the point q so now here if i observe the point q at the point q whatever the divergence will be coming it will be in the positive number and here it will be negative and here it will be zero only so i hope now you got the physical significance of the divergence so this is how divergence is used now again what is the formula it is del dot a okay so now here if i have del del we all know what is del i i am talking about the cartesian coordinate system okay so this is my del now if i am talking about any field a and the field in the vector form is represented as okay so now i know what is my del operator del operator is del upon del x ax plus del upon del y ay plus del upon del z az dot here because we have del dot v so here my v is like i have taken it to be a so here my field is a what is a a is ax ax plus ay ay plus az az okay so this is my field in the vector field we have the field representation like this so now we'll be having a dot product of the two now i know what is dot product if you have still not watched the first video on the cartesian coordinate system there i talked about the dot product so here i know the dot product of ax with ay will be zero ax with az will be zero so the dot product of ax with ax will be only one so now here del upon del x will be multiplied with ax only so del dot v so this is my del dot v sorry del dot a del dot a will be del ax upon del x because i cannot multiply ax with ay and az their dot product will be zero because angle is 90 degree similarly i'll be having del ay by del y plus del az by del z so this is the dot product and now this is giving me the divergence of a i hope this thing is clear now here you can see this output if i observe this output this output is scalar in nature this is a scalar quantity so this divergence is scalar whenever we are applying the divergence on any field so it will be giving me a scalar output only so now let's see what will happen in the cylindrical coordinate system okay so now in the cylindrical coordinate system only the z coordinate will be same so here will be having del az by del z so here in the row coordinate i'll be having the division by row as well as multiplication by row but in the phi coordinate we'll just have the division by row only so you have to remember this formula now okay so here we have the division by r square and the multiplication of r square with ar 
and here we'll be having 1 upon r sin theta del upon del theta sin theta a theta plus 1 upon r sin theta del a phi upon del phi. So here I am combining again these three. So del dot a in the Cartesian it's simply del a x by del x plus del a y by del y plus del a z by del z. In the cylindrical here I'll be dividing by rho and here also I'll be dividing by rho but in the central term only I had the multiplication of rho if you remember the differential length so here I will be multiplying with rho as well so here del dot a will be 1 upon rho del upon del rho rho a rho here 1 upon rho del upon del phi a phi del upon del z a z so now in spherical here I had ar as the length here I had multiplication of r and here I had the multiplication of r sin theta in the differential length. So what would happen here I will be dividing by r square. So I have to multiply with r square as well. Here I have the division of r only. So here I will be multiplying with sin theta and here 1 upon r sin theta as it is. So here del dot a is 1 upon r square del upon del r r square a r plus 1 upon r sin theta del sin theta a theta upon del theta plus 1 upon r sin theta del a phi upon del phi. So I hope these three are clear now. You have to remember these two at least. So you will be getting more clear about all of them. So don't try to be lenient on this. Just remember it. Okay. So now we will be moving towards the divergence theorem. Okay, so now if I see this formula and if I am taking this del V this side and if I am taking observing it for full V. So now what will happen integration over V del dot A will be equal to integration over A, A dot ds. So what has happened here? So if I have any vector field so if I am taking the divergence of that vector field over the volume it will be equal to the surface integral so here I am equating the volume integral to the surface integral and this equation will be used in the later part of the electrostatics so remember this uh, equation and remember that how it is relating the volume integral with the surface integral so the volume integral of divergence of any field will be equal to the surface integral of the field. So here we have the divergence of field and I, I am having the volume integral of divergence and here I have surface integral of the field. Okay, so now I hope this thing is clear now coming to the question. Okay, so now here we have the vector A as x square y z ax cap plus x y square z ay cap plus x y z square az cap. Now I need to find out del dot A at point minus 1, 2 and 3. So del dot A, I know this is the Cartesian coordinate system. So here I will be using del dot A is equal to del ax what is ax this part is my ax so i'll be directly putting the value of ax which is x square y z upon del x plus del a y so here a y is x y square z upon del y plus del a z so del x y z square upon del z so now i know the partial differentiation so the partial differentiation of del x square y z so here i'll be treating y and z as the constant and the differentiation of x square is twice of x so here i'll be having 2x y z here i'll be taking x and z as constant so here x and z is multiplied by 2 of y so similarly here x and y are constant these are multiplied with differentiation of z square which is twice of z. So now we have 2xyz plus 2xyz plus 2xyz which is 6xyz. So now I will be putting the value of xyz at the given point. So here I will be having 6 into minus 1 into 2 into 3. 
so which is equal to minus 36 so here what the type of flux we are having inward or outward so here we'll be having inward type of flux because the output is negative okay so we calculated the magnitude of inward flux now with the help of the divergence and with the help of divergence theorem we'll be relating the volume integral with the surface integral so here i will be concluding my session i hope you understood each and everything still if you have any doubt you can put the doubt in the comment and i will try to resolve it as soon as possible i hope you like this video if you like it share it with your friends subscribe the channel and push the like button Thank you so much.